So a few weeks ago, a bunch of videos were being uploaded to YouTube from very popular creators on how they're completely ditching the MacBook to buy a desktop PC or Windows laptop. They were basically saying creators were leaving in droves from the MacBook to PCs because the experience was no longer good. This was specifically with Adobe Premiere and the fact that Adobe Premiere wasn't running well on a MacBook. Now. The problem with these videos was in the description, there was a sponsored company. A company sponsored this video, which made me question on whether this video was true, and is it really that bad to edit video on a MacBook using Adobe Premiere? So I decided to do my own test here. I have four different laptops. I have a very powerful ThinkPad P72. This is a 2186 Xeon processor, six cores, paired with a quadro card the P5200 Max-Q. I have the brand new Razer Blade 15, the i7-9750H, paired with the RTX 2070 Max-Q. I have a borrowed, this is not mine, 2018 MacBook Pro with the i9-8950H K processor from last year. This is the MacBook Pro that was in the news for getting too hot and people were sticking them in freezers. And last up is the MSI GS75 RTX 2080 Max-Q. Now all these laptops are basically configured with the latest version of Adobe Premiere. All their updates have been made and everything done in this test was with the laptops plugged into an outlet. Now the first test I did was a render test. This was to see which one could render the file the fastest. All the Windows laptops were done using hardware encoding, and on the MacBook Pro it was done using Metal. And for the heck of it, I decided to use my desktop PC as a base benchmark. The desktop PC is a i9-9900K computer with an RTX 2080 Ti, water-cooled and overclocked. Now as expected, that desktop PC beat out all of these laptops by rendering the file in just four minutes and 12 seconds. But, in second place, to my surprise, was the MacBook Pro. The 2018 MacBook Pro with the weaker GPU and a processor that was thermally constrained compared to these laptops, which are better cooled. In third place was the Razer Blade 15. In fourth place was the MSI GS75. And in last place was the thick, very expensive Xeon processor with Quadro card. Now, rendering is only half the battle. Most of us spend more of your time in at the actual timeline than waiting for a file to render. So I decided to see which one provides the smoothest playback experience. Now, the video I'm showing you is basically a video that I just uploaded to YouTube. It contains some ProRes, it contains some H.264 clips, there's a LUT on top of it, music, some transitions, basically your standard video that you'd see on YouTube. And to my surprise, again, the MacBook Pro dropped the least amount of frames, 214. In second place came the MSI GS75. In third, the Razer Blade 15. And in last place again, the ThinkPad P72. This is absolutely bonkers because the MacBook Pro from 2018 has the least powerful hardware. And you would think with the more powerful hardware, you'd get better results. Well, that's not necessarily true all the time because in Apple fashion, they don't value having the best hardware on their devices. They value having the best experience. And when you're able to take one specification, offer an API like Metal, and allow developers to tap into it, what you end up with is very optimized, efficient software working with the hardware. The problem with these Windows laptops is that they're different configurations from different vendors, and it's very hard for a software manufacturer like Adobe to make each laptop optimized. Now, in all honesty, six or seven months ago, Adobe Premiere was in a bad place on the MacBook Pro. It ran completely slow, and all these Windows laptops you see on here would definitely outperform it. It wasn't until the last couple of months to the updates to the Metal API to Adobe Premiere where they finally optimized their software to work better on the MacBook Pro. And that's what you're seeing right here. Optimized software with the hardware outperforming more powerful graphic processors, and in some instances, CPUs in these Windows laptops. The other thing is, be careful when you watch these videos. If it says it's sponsored, I'm happy they're declaring that, but you have to question the authenticity and the accuracy of the results they're giving to you in that video. I'm not receiving any money on this. I don't own a MacBook Pro or an iMac, but I wanted to know for myself and for you if what these people were saying was actually true. Anyways, I hope this clears things up. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.